last year, you know, we did a, a traditional Easter egg hunt in the field A next next to where we are right now, and this year it had more of a, a Halloween trick or treating feel, and I think it has worked out really well. I mean, the crowd has been steady, you know, throughout the morning and early afternoon now, and uh, I think it's worked out really well. And then it's it's also brought the young families to each of the exhibitors, so they can learn what's going on in the community. PDOP had a lot to do with this, right? Yes, it was their idea to have the Easter egg scramble instead of the hunt this year. And it's less chaos. And it's, I think they're all, all the families and the children are enjoying it much better. And then uh, you, you've got CCA over there cooking up burgers and hot dogs. Yep, there's all, I mean, like we had last year, there's free food. CCA is cooking hamburgers and hot dogs. And there's ice cream sandwiches, and peat up is, yeah, there's drinks, you know, kettle corn, cotton candy, everything is free today um, through the generous donations of businesses and organizations in the community. Do you think you had as many people participating or more? I don't know. I'm thinking that we're, we're probably, you know, a little down from last down. year. I think that uh, some families were a little concerned about last year. You know, like we talked about a few days ago, you know, there were some bad behaving parents last year. And uh, I think that, that some families may have felt that might not be real safe. But I think this adjustment that we've made is definitely a move in the right direction. Very much. You know, no problems at all today. People are having a great time. And I, I think that we'll see a, a huge event next year. Yes. And how can people donate to the Holiday Task Force or get involved? Um, involvement, I mean, this is the group, the Holiday Task Force is the group that, that plans the Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas meals every year. Um, it's all through donations of time, volunteering to help plan, um, you know, writing checks or making cash donations, and then some people like to actually provide, you know, in-kind services. And that's what happened with some of the food today, is instead of writing a check, some businesses provided something. So. The answer to the question is contact the coalition and we accept all kinds of involvement.